each process pi where i is equal to 1 to 9 is coded as follows repeat forever so this is an infinite loop p mutex critical section and v mutex we know that p is a weight operation and this will decrement the mutex by 1 and signal over here this v is a signal operation this will increment the mutex variable by 1. The code for process P10 is identical except that it uses V mutex in place of P mutex. That means here in place of P mutex, P10 process is using V mutex. So what is the largest number of processes that can be inside the critical section at any moment? So we know that this the code for process P10 will be that in place of this V mutex, now we will have a v mutex which is a again a signaling operation so what will be the largest number of processes that can enter the critical section let's say the initial value of the mutex was 1 and let's say process p1 wants to enter the critical section so it executes this instruction p mutex which will decrement the value of mutex by 1 so the now mutex is 0 so p1 enters the critical section over here the value of mutex is 0 so any of the other processes p2 p2 p9 if anyone wants to enter the critical section and when they see this p mutex and mutex is 0 so they will not be enter not be able to enter the critical section at this point in time so let's say p1 only is in the critical section and now p1 is preempted by p10 which wants to enter the critical section so p10 executes this statement v mutex which is a signaling operation so now mutex becomes 1 and p10 has entered the critical section so p10 is also there in the critical section p1 was already there now p10 has also entered the critical section and the value of mutex has become 1 that means if any of the processes p2 to p9 wishes to enter the critical section it may be able to do so so let's say p2 which were p2 to p9 which were blocked earlier by p1 now they one of these processes let's say p2 wishes to enter the critical section so now p2 will execute this statement p mutex so now p mutex will become 0 and p2 will be also able to enter the critical section by you after executing this p mutex statement so currently p1 p2 and p10 all three are in the critical section now let's say p2 is over here only in the critical section and p10 starts executing now and it executes the next statement which is v mutex so again it makes the value of the mutex as 1. Now this value of mutex has become 1 again. So out of the remaining processes over here, one of the processes, let's say P3 wishes to enter the critical section now. So again it executes P mutex, makes the value of mutex as 0 and enters the critical section. So P1, P2 and P3 are now there in the critical section. Now again, let's say P10 again wishes to enter the critical section. So again, it will execute this statement V. It will make it 1. It will enter the critical section again, P10. And at this point, now any of the remaining processes which were in the blocked state, they can also enter the critical section. So in this way, because P10 is continuously executing in an infinite loop, Every time it end, wants to enter the critical section, it will, uh, by performing this V mutex, it will change the value of mutex to 1 and this will allow one of the sleeping processes or the blocked processes to also enter the critical section. That means at any given time, all the 10 processes can be present in the critical section. So the answer is that the maximum number of processes that can enter the critical section with this kind of a code is 10.